Hi, True Crime Alert family. Oh my goodness, it's just so good to be back. I just, I really missed you guys. Um, we have had some problems in our family. As you know, we have been hit very hard by COVID. So I didn't make any videos for a while with me on there because uh, there's an awful lot of planning to be done when there's a death in your family. I don't, I'm, I'm not going to burden you guys with all of it, but COVID is uh, no joke, guys. So anyway, uh, let's get into Miss Zulima Pastinas here. Oh my God, I just watched this interview and it's only 10 minutes long. It's not a long one. But there's a lot in this that makes me go, oh my goodness, really? You didn't see a red flag by that? Okay, you didn't see a red flag? Jiminy Crickets, you should have. <laughs> so anyway, okay guys, let's go over this. And the other thing that I remember that I, I was telling um, Garrett was that when we were in, uh, in Vegas, um, I don't know if you guys knew, but uh, Alex was a massage therapist. Mm -hmm. And, uh, um, he... Okay, starting right off the bat, I had no idea Alex was a massage therapist. I thought he drove truck and did a little stand-up comedy. So this is new to me. I don't know if the massage therapist thing was way before the truck driving and stand-up comedy or it was in between, but that's new. Let's see what else she has to offer. Yeah. My back was bugging me, and uh, after you know the trip there in the car, and he said, uh, "Oh, he's like, I'll just give you a massage and you know just fix your back." I'm like, "Okay." So, but for some strange reason, this is really weird. Like for some strange reason, at the time, of course, I didn't think anything about it, but you know now I'm like creeped, all creeped out about it. Um, he said that he we needed to find a Walmart because he wanted to buy this big huge piece of plastic to put on the bed so the oil didn't get on the bed oh my god okay i hate i hate starting and stopping over and over but damn i mean do you need a house to fall on you if a man tells you oh your back hurts well we need to go to walmart real fast and get us a big piece of plastic. I don't know what size did Dexter use. <laughs> and we're gonna put it over the bed and we'll spread it over the entire room because oil could go somewhere. Mm, yeah, it's oil that we're worried about. So anyway, this does not tip her off as to, wait a minute, something is going wrong. Something's going horribly wrong here. And if somebody wants to spread plastic out in a room, and you're going to be in the center of it, I'm thinking there's going to be a red flag from that. But, hey, her back hurts. No red flags here. Well, yeah. let's party on with some plastic, shall we? But it was one of those ones that you put on the floor when you painted. when you paint. Okay. And we went to Walmart, and we got it. And you put it on the bed. And mm. this was when you were in Vegas? When we were in Vegas, yeah. It was the day after we got married. So... So you put it on the bed, yeah. and he gave you the massage wood, and then what and did you do with the it? the weirdest thing about it was that, and this is when it gets even weirder, because after that, I fell asleep, okay? Because I was so relaxed after the, the massage, I was so relaxed, I fell asleep, and then... I so was this a little roofy relaxation? Just wondering. And I would love you guys to comment below, and I could be way off with this. But tell me how many of your husbands, because you, you probably got quite a few out there, has went, wait a minute, time for a back massage. Let's me and you go to Walmart and wall to wall the bedroom in plastic. Has any of you ever heard this? Have you ever done this? Is this a normal thing that I'm missing? Well, could be. Um, I remember waking up and was in and out in and out and I could hear him talking and I was like who's he talking to and I get like trying to wake up and finally I'm like I made myself wake up and I'm like Alex I'm like who are you talking to he's like nobody I was talking to myself <laughs> okay mm -hmm. so then yeah um, I remember took a bath 
and uh, I said, let's, I said, let's watch a movie. And he was like, he was on his phone, I think playing his game or something. And he was like super quiet. It was totally eerie for Alex because Alex usually like, he was like joking and he would like, you would say something and he would find one way or another to make it into a joke and make it funny. And like, he was always making you laugh and laughing at himself or making a joke about something. But he said nothing for the rest of the evening. Nothing. Well, that's really weird that he had you lay on plastic. So, maybe I'm just a little too crazy now because of all the stuff that's happened, but in my back of my mind, I keep thinking that who was on the phone was Chad and Lori and that that was supposed to be my last day. Okay, here's what I think happened. I think Miss Zulema here was the first of them, first of the spouses to go dark. She didn't know it, but why is Alex wanting this whirlwind wedding, you know, this quick wedding, and she doesn't even take his last name, and we need to hurry up and get married. Is it so that the life insurance policy kicks in? And he's the spouse? Is there a life insurance policy? Because I'm feeling it. I'm feeling a life insurance policy in the future of this. I think what happened was he took out, a, him and Lori, took out a life insurance policy on her, being that she's one of the early ons, one of the beginnings. I think they took out a little life insurance policy somewhere, and that's why they had to hurry up and get married, because we have to hurry up and off her so that we can get paid and carry on with our mission. And Lori and Alex, you know, had a mission going and they need to carry that on. So I think Alex married this girl and she seems like a, a nice person, a real naive, nice person. But I think he married her because he thought she'd be easy to off and they could collect some money and get on with the, the real mission they had at stake. And he was supposed to. And it very well could have been. Did when so when you woke up were you did you feel like did you feel normal? I mean did you feel like when you said you were in and out, in and out of consciousness, like you were trying to wake up or you didn't feel right? Like I was really down like I was really, really like one of those ones when you're like trying to wake up and you can't wake up kind of thing like i was like i was thinking why am i so relaxed and i can't wake up kind of thing you know did what i mean feel, did you feel drugged drowsy like just i was kind of like really like drowsy drowsy i was like what what, what time of day was it in the middle of the afternoon <laughs> did you did he give you anything to drink before that or make you a drink or Fix you anything to eat. I mean, I, I remember us going to get something to eat, and then um, we came back to the hotel, and I remember we did have some drinks with us. Like, you know, I don't know, maybe I might, I mean, I might have had like a no, I didn't have a Red Bull that day. I had something with me. It might have been a water or something, I don't know, with me. And I always used the little cup, and, you know, the, I, I like to use the little glasses. So I always had my glass with ice and whatever it was that I was drinking at the time. So, so did he end up, did he give you a massage? I mean, did you have oil on? Not enough to... To use... Or to drop off. To what a drop off, you know what I mean? Uh, it just didn't, at the time, I had no question about it. Now, I'm like, well, why, would you why would you necessitate a whole job class all over the bed to give me a massage? That, that just doesn't make any sense to me at all. Mm. So did... And then the fact that he was quiet for the rest, that he said nothing, like nothing after that. Like, it, that's so not Alex. Alex is not quiet. You know, I think the quiet came from 
he didn't finish this one off. And he's probably going over how pissed Lori is going to be at him. Because she gave him this mission, I'm almost sure. And Chad's probably already said that Zulema here is dark. So, I think Alex is going over it is why he's super quiet. Like, I didn't kill this zombie. We're not going to have the money. Lori's going to be pissed. And I think maybe, maybe he cared about her. Maybe he cared too much about her to do her in. But what gets me on that is the kids. You didn't care enough about the kids to do them in. I mean, you went ahead with that. So what is it about Zulema that stopped the process? Was the paperwork not through yet? Because that's a biggie. We know Lori's little head was spinning because she didn't get Charles's million. So was it not really set set yet? Like the paperwork wasn't in yet? Were they getting their ducks in a row? Because she definitely was supposed to die that day. Come on, you guys. You know damn well he set that up to do her in. So what happened? This is why he's quiet. He's going over it. I didn't finish. Something happened. So did you ever say, did you ever ask him like, man, what, why did we need all that or what? No. And, and so he, you heard totally. him talking to somebody. Mm -hmm. And I believed him that he was talking to himself, you know, at the time. You know, okay. I'm trusting him completely. Um, and that was right after you were married. The day after. Yeah. Maybe they thought, here's another thing that Alex, maybe why he didn't pull off killing her. It's the day after they were married. Now, that looks a little suspicious to some people when your spouse just passes away, kind of like a Tammy Daybell thing, but when your spouse passes away the day after you're married, it usually attracts a lot of attention. Maybe that's why he didn't finish her off. It was just a little bit too soon and they didn't want to attract that kind of attention. Either that paperwork wasn't in or Lori put the ax to it after she asked for him to do this. I don't know. Something stopped this process that was a speeding train. I got a feeling that Lori and Alex had a time that was ticking out for them. It's really weird. It is super weird. It's super weird. Mm -hmm. Especially because you're talking. And I even asked him, I said, hey, I said, are you okay? Like, like you're so quiet. Are you usually not quiet like this? He's like, I'm just tired. Okay, I was like, well, I'm going to leave you alone then so you can rest. But so I left him alone. He didn't say anything else. So I did a fortune with him for a minute. I was talking about keeps on his phone. Green, I gave him the keys to me. And it's little things like that that, <clears throat> that we're super interested in. So if anything like that comes to you again, something that you may think is super small, please let Garrett yeah, know. We'll, or we'll or communicate it to you for sure. That that was super weird. Let us know, yeah. Just little things like that that help us put pieces together. Did was that the only time that happened? Yeah. Had he given you massages before? No. Okay. Wow. Did he did he since then? Uh no. So that was the one time he yeah. offered to give you massage. When we would get together, sometimes he would come um, and he would put his fingers on my on my on my neck and go. He would say, "What is it with you people? With you uh, translated people that have such big, uh, stressful shoulders or something like that?" He would say that, but I wasn't the only one that was receiving it. He would do it to everybody else, you know, just kind of like relax my, you know, the neck. And then when we got back from Vegas and we were um, in my house, sometimes in the mornings I, I have a really hard time waking up. And then in the mornings I would like turn my, my alarm off and just sit there trying to like get up. 
And I remember he would like wrap his finger like up and down my, my back and go, you can get up, you can wake up, kind of thing, like kind of waking me up, but not a massage, massage like he did that day. So when you woke up from that massage, did you feel like you were way too groggy than you should have been? I was or super, I thought, I'm like, oh my goodness, he's like, well, it must be a really good, you know, massage therapist because I am so relaxed right now. Like I am like so, so relaxed. Like I felt like, you know, like when you get out of like the, um, the sauna, you know, when you get out of the sauna and you're like so relaxed, you could actually take a nap. That's what I felt. So you didn't feel out of it. No, it was I, just it was just relaxed. Very relaxed, yeah, like super. That what was really weird though was that in and out that I had when I was laying on the bed, because I was I could hear him talking and I was trying to wake up, but I kept going back down and then I kept hearing him again talking and I and I couldn't discern what he was saying. But I could just hear him talking, and he was in the bathroom talking. Did he kind of talk to himself much? Well, not really. <laughs> not like that. Like he was actually having a conversation. Like he sounded like he was having a conversation. Right. So to me, I think he's went into the bathroom because he's already got her ready, and he's in the bathroom talking to Lori. I think this whole time, and they're bantering back and forth, and they can't decide is now the time, how to do it, should we carry this on. I mean, he is, he's got something going on. I don't know who he was talking to, but I'm thinking it was probably Lori or Chad. You know, Chad's a, a key player here, too. It's not always just Lori. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, when I talk to myself, I'm always like, you know, saying one thing or two things. Or yeah, something. I go to McDonald's for lunch. You know, yeah, something, something like, like that. that. But no, no, he, he was having, a, yeah. like, a conversation. So, it... You know, now, of course, putting all this together and processing after, you know, over a year, I keep thinking that he was actually on the phone with somebody when, when he, this was happened. There was no way that he was going to necessitate a big old drop cloth for that band to give me up. And think of this. He's got a huge drop cloth. Um, if you're using a drop cloth that big, and let's say he had pre-planned this murder. Let's just, we're speculating people. We can say whatever we want. If you're using a drop cloth that big, you're not strangling someone to death. Okay? You're not strangling somebody to death because you're thinking you're going to get this whole room messy. So how far was he going with that? How was he going to do her in? I don't think this was going to be an easy or fast death. I mean, he's getting prepared for um, something horrendous. So, like I said, I don't think he was going to give her enough stuff, you know, because she's really, really drowsy. So, he gave her some kind of something in her drink. I don't think he was going to give her enough of something in her drink to kill her. Otherwise, it's not poisoning. And I also don't think she was going out by strangulation either. Because with this amount of plastic, we're covering all the DNA we want to make sure doesn't get anywhere to be detected later. How come there's going to be this much DNA? I mean, he has decided already that he is going to kill her in a very horrible manner. Just um, a little more speculation, guys. When when you guys got married or prior to get married, did you guys talk about insurance or life insurance? Or, or did you add him to anything? Or did he add you to anything? No, that I know of. I know a couple of people have asked me that too. She says not that she knows of, but there could have been something in the works that she doesn't know of. Because Lori and Chad and Alex aren't beyond forgery. They forged names before. They have forged documents before. They have called on the phone and acted like they were someone else. So possibly there could have been a life insurance policy drawn up and signed by someone else. Someone, I can't remember, I'm going to have to look back, you guys, but somebody in this whole situation was selling life insurance, and I can't remember who it was. 
I'm trying to think if it was Boudreaux, but you know what? It's just, uh, I can't remember right now. But I'm thinking, yeah, there was a life insurance policy. And no, she didn't know anything about it. But these bunch of conniving rats has done something. I mean, they've drawn one up. Lori signed it. They've somehow forged it. We'll see if that comes out later. Um, but I wasn't the one that I I wouldn't have had any knowledge of that. But Lori would. Well, there you go. Because you know Charles was in that mm -hmm. business. Well, that's it for now, guys. That was the end of it. But let me know what you think. Is the plastic really out of order here? Because if somebody told me, hey, I'm going to give you a massage, but I'm going to have to, I don't know, put plastic over this entire room while you lay on the bed, I'm going to go, yeah, no, it doesn't hurt anymore. I don't need a massage. I don't need a massage. Look, you just miraculously fixed my back <laughs> with that. Yes. I don't think I'm going to need a massage. I think I'm going to need an attorney. There's going to be a difference here. So would that sound odd to you guys if he said, hey, let's spread some plastic out? And again, what about this dipping in and out? She doesn't sound like she's on NyQuil. She sounds like she's on something that's actually putting her out because she's having short times that she comes to for a little bit. But then she slips right back into darkness. So that sounds more like a drug. Okay, you've been drug lady. So, do you guys think she's been drugged? Does it sound like that to you? And why? Why do you guys think she was picked? Why was she picked as the one? And why did that wedding have to be when it was? And why were we already trying to kill her the next night? Oh my goodness, now I have a bunch of questions. I need you guys to help me out. You know what my opinion on this is. I've already said. I think he was getting ready to do her in. I think he either had change of heart or change of plans. Something wasn't going right. I know there's a life insurance policy. Let's just keep digging because follow the money trail. That's what I feel like. So you guys let me know what you think. Are you thinking uh, there's going to be some money involved here down the line? Do you think it wasn't even nefarious at all. He was just going to give her a massage and boy, my imagination has just went wild and none of this was even happening. Oh, that can happen too. So let me know, guys. I'll see you on the next one and it sure is good to be back. Thanks for being here. Bye for now.